G'day. What can Uber and the Apple Watch teach us about the future of status symbols? G'day. 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 A luxury watch has long been considered a symbol of status. If you've got a Rolex on your wrist, then you're a fairly well-to-do guy. But the thing that seems to be happening now is we've got things like the Apple Watch and similar versions from other tech companies. And a lot of people now are going with those watches and they're kind of all the same. There's no real variation between them. And so if we live in a future world where everybody has got one of these wristwatch type devices, which are really the mini computers like the Apple Watch or the Samsung or whatever other brand it's going to be, then do we still have a place for the status symbol of the Rolex watch or the Frank Muller or the tag or whatever you're wearing on your wrist? And the same when it comes to cars. Luxury cars have long been considered a status symbol. What happens in a world where we don't own cars anymore? The Uber world where people don't own cars, they just basically lease a car from somebody else for a couple of minutes or a couple of you know, 20 minute ride. Or the future where we have self-driving vehicles, where you know, I think the whole idea of car ownership is potentially gonna go away. So two of those very significant status symbols of today, the watch and the luxury car, they disappear. So what are the future status symbols that we're gonna be dealing with? In a world where you all have the same kind of tech, where you don't have ownership of vehicles, potentially you don't even have ownership of housing anymore, what is the future status symbol? What's the status symbol of tomorrow? Would love to hear your thoughts. Do let me know in the comments below. I do thank you for your time, and I will be back again tomorrow. See ya. That I don't lose my soul in the luxury.